Mario Art of Sports here with Brian T. City Ortega. Man, I, I, I feel like we missed you, brother. Where, where, where you been? I know you had the yeah, injury. Yeah. You, you'll be back. Uh, you'll be back next week in the in the octagon. Tell me about it, man. How excited are you to kind of be back? Yeah, it's been a year, man. So we had shoulder surgery. Everything went well. Doctor cleared me. We, we signed the fight. Went to Vegas for the UFC retreat. At the retreat, had a lot of fun over there. What's going on? Yeah. And uh, I talked to the guys over there. I was like, you know what? Uh, they gave me a couple names. Or oh, actually, they gave me they gave me the name. And they said everyone in the top ten is busy right now. But they wanted to fight the uh, fight the two undefeated guys in the top ten division, which is myself and Hato, Hato Moicano. Which is he's number nine right now, and I'm number eight. We're both like 10, 11, and 0. Both, so it's like identical records, identical age, and uh, it's gonna be a good fight, man. Yeah, Very man. Two, good fight. Two, two undefeated guys is, is always fun, Somebody's man. Somebody's always got to no go. How to lose, you know what I mean? Somebody's always got to go, <laughs> man. And uh, it's just the nature of the sport, you know. Eventually, you know, you lose unless you're like, you know, a couple of people. Well, few, you're a few rare people. Yeah. You're definitely one of like the, the most highly touted prospects in, in the UFC. Um, you know, I want to ask you, um, uh, Frankie Edgar just fought uh, the kid. Um, Yair Rodriguez. Yair Rodriguez, yeah, thank you. Um, you know, that was kind of a crossroads fight, kind of, or supposed to be, but Frankie Edgar kind of, you know, still kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of pushed yeah. the young kid back. I know you're, you were kind of on that Yair Rodriguez kind of track, so, you know, obviously you have this fight, you're focused on this fight, but kind of after this, like you said, he's number nine, you're number eight. Are you kind of looking no, that, at... That's like, a goal, man. That's yeah. a goal. I, I want to fight someone who's in the top five, top three. That way, like they said, if you get through them, then you can get to the champ, right. which ultimately, that's a goal, you know? You get this fight. In. Obviously, this fight's the main concern. But after this one, fight a top guy who's very known, like like a you know like a Frankie or a Cub Swanson or somebody that has a, bit, a lot of recognition in the game, and uh, see how it goes, and then win that one, and hopefully get that title shot. And you mentioned the shoulder was that's the reason you were out, so that's good, 100%. Yeah, You're shoulder's good, go. good, 100%. Had to pull out my last fight was supposed to be in October. Pulled out two weeks before. Due to injury. I gotta ask you, man, all this Mayweather McGregor stuff is going on. What are your kind of thoughts on it? Like, it's obviously a big, like, spectacle happening. I mean, what, what are your kind of thoughts on just kind of the promotion itself? But look, I'm an MMA fighter <laughs> in the boxing world. You know what I'm saying? So he's not the only one. No, but it's cool, man. It's cool. I think it's cool. I think it's a lot of entertainment. You know, I think it's just entertainment at the end of the day. I don't think, I think he's gonna perform well, you know, but when it comes just to the strict rules of boxing, I'm gonna have to give it to Mayweather, you know? Is, is, is it if it was to be somewhere else, then, you know, it was, right. you know, MMA, Mayweather would get crushed. Right, of course, yeah, yeah. Is it, because I ask a lot of people, you know, Mayweather doesn't knock out a lot of people, right? Like, Connor's a big guy. You know, obviously, I think a lot of people kind of edging Floyd in, in the boxing match, but do you see Floyd being able to get the knockout? I feel like if Conor gets tired, gets put against a rope, and maybe with the tees off, he can get a TKO, yeah. But I don't think he's going to lay Conor out. Conor's got a good chin. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to ask you, man, just obviously you're here in the boxing world, big boxing fight three weeks after that, Canelo, Triple G. What are your thoughts on that? Canelo all day, Mexican, baby. Mexicanos, unidos. How, how does that play out, do you think? Like, knockout, decision, how does that play out? It plays out good, man. I think it's, it's a good fight for the sport. Definitely. Hey, Brian, t tell the fans where to follow you, man. Where Brian T-City, Instagram. Thank you, guys. Now we got to salute our flag right now. Let's do it. Thank you.